And there we go. This is a little game that had Namuda Homania called called Muse Story. Wait, is that right? Muse Quest. Close enough. Oh yeah. <laughs> it it's hardly complete right now at <laughs> all. And this is first time I'm actually playing it, yeah. He just sent me like a little link to it, yeah, after a stream that we just got out of, yeah, like about twenty minutes before well, more like five minutes before <laughs> actually recording this. I promise you this game is a lot better than the one I streamed. <laughs> that was <laughs> I mean I know this game has a few glitches, but <laughs> those are mostly just because I haven't programmed that far yet. Whoa. Let's see, the only two places you can go to are Pallet Town and Route 1. <laughs> there we go. For a second, you know, my controls were stuck, you know, moving upwards. Mm. <laughs> so How about I... those ledges? Oh, go ahead. <laughs> For a second, I had to actually, you know, hit all four air arrows at once, and I actually had to fix it. <laughs> huh. <clears throat> Sorry um, about that. <laughs> that almost kind of feel like playing Pokemon again. <laughs> so you can... For some reason, the screen share is frozen for me, but... I can't really see what you're doing, <laughs> but you can jump down those ledges... <laughs> You just have to kind of <laughs> hit them straight on. Oh, I see. I think you almost go ahead and hit a little angle, eh? Oh, no. Never mind. Because it's not supposed to go at an angle. <laughs> I I was only half expecting that. <laughs> <laughs> so you watch Josh Shepps and Tia? Eh? <laughs> no, I've just heard the quote a lot. Ah. Uh, but yeah, that was from Josh Jepson's LP of Mario Sunshine. <laughs> mm hmm. Let me guess. I think they were the little wind enemies. Mm. Which that, aren't supposed to go at an angle. That had a hand, you know, like. He was in this one, you know, secret area with quite a bit uh, of. You know, blo brown blocks that you have to jump across in order to get to a higher platform. I think it's in a Yoshi, se you know, the Yoshi secret, you know? Mm. Mm -hmm. And he uh, was jumping at a slight angle, so <laughs> he kind of fell off as he was trying to climb upwards. Mm. <laughs> so, <laughs> I suppose mathematically I could say... If it was a jump, then it would have had a parabola rather than an angle. <laughs> I'm just picking it that way. So, at this point, like, is there anything that you could you know, really do in the game? You know, right mm. There's not really too much you can do. You can... Again, for some reason, the screen share is frozen for me, or it updates every minute and a half, but... It must be kind of laggy a little bit. Yeah. But either way, if you go to the bottom of a sign and press the space bar, you can read them. Oh. Same with mailboxes, and you can look in windows if you wanted to. Since you, you guys definitely won't be seeing this, it says, Oakmon, you know, Oak... Pokemon Research Lab. Well, this sign does. What about this sign? Best start to open the menu. And then Mew says, actually, hey, go into a Pokemon Center or the Hust areas to open it. <laughs> How about this sign? Worst trainer chip ever. Fell on shades of your journey await. Nice to know. <laughs> Can you read mailboxes? Hey, you can. Yes. <laughs> Blues, ho ho. I think there's something in this mailbox, but I'm not a thief. <gasps> Take it, Mew. You know you want it. Take it. Don't make me beat up this mailbox. <laughs> I know. I know. There's that rule where in RPGs you can take things from houses and people, <laughs> but come on now. You, should you really be looking through someone else's mail? <laughs> 
Yeah, kind of like Mario RPG. <laughs> and then, you know, like recently in Skyward Sword, you know, it actually prevents you from taking stuff from people's closet. <laughs> mm-hmm. You really shouldn't be looking in other people's cupboards. <laughs> oh, that's so hilarious. <laughs> I like how all of their cupboards look different, though. They have their own unique touches to them. But... <laughs> this mailbox reads Red's house. Red is a kind of an odd name, although how I spell those me isn't normal either. <laughs> It's kind of funny that you, well, you can actually, you know, <laughs> you know, press space on the water, too. This water is really quite pretty. I can see my reflection, but we can't under it yet. I can't swim, you see. <laughs> yep. But I what? mean, you can float. <laughs> yeah, it's like, why can't you just fly over it? What's wrong with your flying? <laughs> Video game logic, okay? <laughs> of course. Or... Mew has some sort of special gravitational field where she can float above solid objects but not liquid nor gas. <laughs> it's like the game is just purposely trying to prevent you from doing that. Especially because I don't have that area programmed yet. <laughs> Darn it! <laughs> the sign reads entering Mount 1, North Vividian CD, South Pouton. As a <laughs> feed in of it already. Cough, cough, Pokemon Blue. Ah, uh, good memories. I used to play a lot of Pokemon Yellow, though. Good old mm. hold walking Pikachu. <laughs> Still having a lot of trouble hearing you now, because it might be something that's having to do with you recording it, but I don't know. Really? I mean, I know the screen share is kind of laggy, but... I don't think, you know, hmm. the voice would be kind of laggy as well. Mm, I could hear that. I just kind of hard to understand at some points. Ah. Uh. And just, it is becoming kind of glitchy for some reason, or whatever. Hmm. Also, there is no particular reason you start with 10 experience points. <laughs> and, you know... So it was the little magic bar for you know, other than the little music attack thing. What was that? Like, what do you like? What was the the little music attack thing used for? Still having trouble hearing. It's just glitching up. Mm -hmm. uh, Like, I think he said something about a music. Like when you press X, you know, like Mew has this little red attack in you know, that almost like looks like music notes, yeah. Oh, oh, those that okay, that is growl. Oh. Uh, and then I'm assuming yeah, you know, we'll probably have to go into little Pokemon but hells later, you know, like when it's more into development. I'm guessing. Mm-hmm. And then the the po yeah the Pokemon battles won't be turn based. Mm. Huh. So it almost kind of reminds me of you know Pokemon Mystery Dungeon in a sense. Actually, Muse Sprite there that is from Pokemon Mystery Dungeon. <laughs> oh really? <laughs> mm -hmm. I don't think I ever. I'm going. What was that? Go ahead, I'm going to use Pokemon Mystery Dungeon sprites for all the Pokemon, probably. <laughs> but. And then, like, the little tackle move is also used for the Pokemon battles? Mm-hmm. Hmm. They're not going to be turn-based at all. <laughs> They're going to be a bit more exciting than that, I hope. <laughs> And for some reason, now I'm thinking of, you know, Super Paper Mario. Because it's like, you know, like, you have your own, you know, free attacking, you know, base, and now, mm -hmm. you know, like, turns, you know. Yeah, and the screen share is starting to work for me a bit. <laughs> yeah, maybe You're... it was just, like, at first that, you know, it was kind of lagging. 
You just used growl. <laughs> you just tackled. I entered a new area. Yes, you did. <laughs> Hi, flowers. I'm gonna kill you who with a deadly growl. <laughs> <laughs> That seems to take a long time to fade from one area to another, I hope. Huh. I don't know, it seems a lot faster on my computer, I'm not sure. Mm. So, what are A, S, and D supposed to be used for since there isn't really, you know, seeming to be much happening there? Well... Why not? Did I use... I bet V, B, and N would work. Nope, only Z and X are oh. working right now. Ah, okay. But C, A, S, and D will be used later on to hold other moves. Oh, I see, like, you know, more as you learn, you know, attacks. Mm -hmm. And you can switch them between the buttons as at will. <laughs> Yeah, so far this is definitely looking like a fun game. <laughs> Glad to hear it. Even though this is the only two rooms that you can actually go in. Well, I figure it's the engine and how it feels to move around <laughs> is most fun. And yes, you can kind of go through there. <laughs> <laughs> and go a bit to the right after you go up. Then come back down. I think I'm probably... S what, what the? And yeah. now move to the left a bit more. What the? <laughs> you was in the trees. <laughs> that is awesome. <laughs> That's not intended, of course. That's going to not be in there later on. <laughs> <laughs> I'm outside the barrier. <laughs> I'm tempted to just go inside near that little oh, field right there and just get stuck in the trees completely <laughs> while well, inside that little fence. <laughs> <laughs> oh, for a second, I thought I almost was you know, actually. St well, I think I might be like, forced outside of that or something. <laughs> yeah. We are going <laughs> inside the tree. <laughs> But yeah, it makes you can always <laughs> you can always go back in actually. <laughs> Not from well, here, that is, because <laughs> yeah, like, you have to go kind of around up to the top again. Because I was about to say, like, I'm actually forced from going outside, you know, this air low area. Mm -hmm. <laughs> there we go. And does it work with you know the left side too? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's still like the most bizarre thing. <laughs> Basically, I have it, have it programmed is there are little there's like a little solid wall along the trees only where it needs to be. Mm. And later you won't be able to walk through the top of the path like that. It'll actually take you to Viridian City. But for now, you can just walk around the solid wall and go to the <laughs> other side of it. Wild Mew appears. <laughs> <laughs> I'm actually not sure if I should have wild grass. Oh. Hmm. <laughs> it's still kind of funny. Yeah, Go ahead. It's still kind of funny, like, how in Pokemon Blue, Red, and Yellow, you know, you could do, like, a little Mew glitch, you know? That mm -hmm. lets you encounter it yeah, easily. But I still never actually, you know, performed it myself, so... I don't. I don't think I've actually played too much of those games, but I do know that's incredibly easy to get Mew on this one. <laughs> yes, yeah, so you're already playing this one. <laughs> one of my favorite things to do is slide down ledges. <laughs> yeah, that was pretty fun. We. Or just kind of go in circles. <laughs> Is going down a little ledge slide. Mm hmm. <laughs> it's really not leaping because it looks a lot more like sliding, so I should mm. treat it as sliding. 
more like you know floating down fast <laughs> in a sense yeah I'm, I'm thinking of adding an effect that actually makes it look like sliding like little dust clouds yeah that'd be pretty cool and it is you know pretty nice that you can't actually you know go in this little field you know and actually get stuck <laughs> mm-hmm. <laughs> solid walls are very solid. I wonder what would happen you know, like, if you actually did get stuck down there. I imagine you'd have to start the game all over again. <laughs> <laughs> well, maybe you would be able to get out the same way you got in. I'm not sure. <laughs> but it's almost kind of like, yeah, trying to go into the trees, you know, from outside, yeah. Mm-hmm. I don't think it's possible. Unless there is nope. one un- invisible wall, yeah, invisible tree there. <laughs> yeah, I'm pretty sure I didn't miss any walls. <laughs> well, that's good. The only way you would be able to get out there without going around would be if you had an incredibly fast Mew who could go through the walls. <laughs> Broken as heck Mew. <laughs> And also broken as heck flood, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and only me and we don't know about it. And also, oh, nerds, <laughs> he's watching. Ah, <laughs> you should you should look in the windows. <laughs> me, yeah, me was looking to the way whenever I go <laughs> to the windows. <laughs> I'm watching you. You can actually <laughs> examine them too. Uh, oh. <laughs> <laughs> and it uses my name for some reason, but... <laughs> <laughs> Namuda, oh, should we really be picking other people's windows? <laughs> yes. <laughs> oh, hey, I got another call going on. Well, and I, <laughs> someone calling me, but... <laughs> you guys won't be able <laughs> to see it. <laughs> so, yay. I see it. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah, because you're screen watching. <laughs> mm-hmm. <laughs> Answering this call puts your active call on hold or more. <laughs> oh, hey, there's also another one here. Yeah. I can see a television in there. Is that a blue ponytail with wings? <laughs> Purple flying Pegasus. <laughs> Sadly, I bet at least one person will get that reference I made there. <laughs> My little pony? But, yep. <laughs> Sadly, <laughs> but it is not for young boys walking on railroad tracks or a young girl walking down a yellow brick road, <clears throat> as it was in the actual games. And kind of weird because like I never actually watched a single episode of My Little Pony. Yeah, it's just spread all over the inter- internet. Sadly, <laughs> it's kind of an, an obsession of a lot of people. It's not a bad show, of course, but... Yeah. I'm kind of indifferent to it myself. Well, I can't mm-hmm. really say I'm much indifferent because I never even watched it. <laughs> mm. Yeah. You know what else I realized? People won't be able to see the text box. <laughs> yeah, I wasn't oh, sure well. if I should put that in, you know. Oh, well. Cause it's I wasn't being sure read. It... Yeah, yeah. Because I wasn't sure if they'd want to see it, yeah. Yeah. And actually, I will make it like the Pokemon games where you can change the frame of it. It has a weird cloudy frame right now, because that's one of my favorites, but... (laughs) That was weird. But if you do have any complaints about the game, or anything you'd want me to change or add to it, just... Please let me know. And apparently there's this one notice that keeps on popping up on my screen. <laughs> yeah, I'm seeing that. <laughs> unknown something. The unknown Mew. <laughs> <laughs> unknown is a Pokemon too. <laughs> who apparently is... Yeah. Who apparently doesn't even know about him. Wait, what? <laughs> hmm. But yeah, this does look pretty fun, and yeah, 
later on I would like to see kind of like to see more of it <laughs> glad you do <laughs> and we'll be ready yeah, to leave. and we'll be ready to mm-hmm. record some more of it and you know, like if you're interested and you know, like more co- co-commentating in it <laughs> Mm-hmm. Just for the heck of it. <laughs> yeah, once I actually get to a more complete, more playable stage, where it's a bit more of a game, although it's still kind of fun now, somewhat. <laughs> go mute, go out to everyone to death. <laughs> Plus, One of my friends who tested this game loved growling at people's houses. <laughs> he thought growl just looked like an intimidating move. He would say, take that house! <laughs> I was gonna say, hey, yeah, go me who blasts their television away. <laughs> Since I know they have one in there. I'm hanging in. Is there something new with this? Yeah. I don't know, it's the same thing as Oaks. <laughs> yep. Nothing interesting in there. Nothing interesting. You shouldn't. You really shouldn't be picking at other people's windows. <laughs> Question mark? <laughs> <laughs> well, I think that has been a little bit of nothing, yeah. So this has been Seriyoshi 47, and... This has been Amadu. And we'll I'll see you guys you know, for the next update, you know, if Namuto does have another one. <laughs> Hopefully. <laughs> Hopefully this is one of the games that I actually end up not ditching immediately. <laughs> yeah. And ending on a fading screen, yay. <laughs>